Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dyson and I'm going to show you how I cut my own hair here at home. And I just wanted to show you right quick um, what my hair is looking like so far um, before cutting it. So it's about right there. And yeah, all I did was let it air dry and brushed it. And you can tell how long it is in the back. It's right to here. Right there. Um, sorry about the picture quality because I really can't do better than I am. But yeah, so it's about that length. And you can tell it's a lotter on the ends because of pre previously um, highlighting it and it's just washed out. I don't know how short I'm going to cut it yet, but yeah. This is what it looks like in the mirror in the front. Um, so it's there. All right, I will be back with y'all when I get done taking a bath. Um, that way my hair is wet. You don't have to necessarily like wash your hair before cutting it, but I just do that because it's easier for me than using a spray bottle and drenching, drenching my hair. So I'll be back with y'all right after I take a bath. All right, I'm out of the shower after washing my hair. It's all wet, as you can tell. Um, I just brushed it. And before I forget, I wanted to do a little shout out. Um, Sylvia Deegan, um, that's who inspired me on doing this video because she cuts her own hair too. So I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way before I forgot, forget to tell y'all. But yeah, go check her out. Um, she definitely does it a total different way than me and she explains it a lot better than me. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. So after we brush it, what I do, this is just me personally. Everybody does their hair different. Everybody has different hair types and you know. So I just do what works best for me. I personally like to do my own hair because almost every time I've ever went and got it done, they've messed it up and I pretty much had to fix it when I got back home anyways. So I'm going to brush it and I'm going to split it up the middle. Even though I don't really wear my hair in the middle, I'll shape it to my face afterwards too. So um, yeah, I'll just part it down the middle and brush it. I have the mirror this way. That's why I'm looking this way. Um, the camera is not enough. Uh, for me to see what I'm doing when I'm cutting my own hair, so. But you can see the length of it before. And yeah. So I went to Sally's yesterday because I couldn't find my combs and I couldn't find my razor. But um, all you need is combs that's like this. Um, yeah. So, I got mine from Sally's, and I will leave links down below. The combs comes with 12, and they was only uh, $2.79, so lower than $3, and they come with 12. But you can also get this comb sometimes at the Dollar Tree on a single thing. And then I got this razor. Um, the pack it came in looks like that. There's the brand. That's what the packaging looked like. And here is the razor. That's what that looks like. So it's got like a little guard where you won't cut yourself as easily. <laughs> and then I got these scissors about 10 years ago when I was in beauty school or cosmetology, whatever. Um, so I won't be able to find these to like these. They probably don't even sell them no more. 
Um, but I, yeah, I just wanted to share that. But they got other scissors at beauty, any beauty supply store or Sally's or whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my comb, kind of figure out how much I want to cut off. And I don't want to cut too much. So um, some people part their hair in sections, but my hair is so thin I don't have to, especially when it's wet. So I'm going to cut off. Um, let's see. Make sure you get the under hair too, like from the back. probably just going to cut about that much off and I'm going to go in with this first I'm going to go comb it again as much as possible get all the little kinks out So I'm going to start about right here and just cut. <laughs> so now I have like a little guideline right there and I'm going to cut across. And it's starting to go that way so I'm just going to go the opposite direction and cut it the rest of the way. And that's our starting point. I'm gonna go and comb it again. And hold it like this. And kind of just go down with it where it won't be as like noticeable of cuts, like little triangles almost. where it won't look like that perfect cut, like it looks a little messy. Sort of like that. So you can see the length difference, not much, but a little bit. And then I'm gonna go on the other side and try to match it up as best as possible. I just use use that as a guideline which is kind of hard to see because of the black letters but yeah and your hair does stretch when it's wet so be careful not to stretch it too much but you want to hold it that way it doesn't move that much so just kind of be careful about it And always cut a little bit longer at first when doing your own hair. That way you can go back and fix it if needed. Like on the other side, you can just cut it a little bit more. really even to me personally so and it's my hair so it doesn't matter now I'll look at the back when it's all brushed out make sure that looks right because it would be a different length carrying it to the front than it was when it was in the back so that's what it looks like let's see there. now I gotta look <laughs> Yeah, it looks about right. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to shape the front of it. 
I like mine a little bit shaped where it doesn't look as straight. So what you do is kind of split it in a section like this and just get the front and kind of guide it towards your face a little bit. Figure out where you want that first layer to be. I want it just past my jaw starting off. So I'll use my razor. It doesn't look very good. I'll use my razor and I will start about here and kind of just work down very slowly. All the way to the end. So I kind of messed up a little bit. I used it a little too much at first. As you can tell. So it's kind of like almost like bangs, but that's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's no big deal because once it's dry, you're not gonna be able to notice. Then I'll do the same thing for the other side where the ear is. Have it parted. It doesn't have to be necessarily perfect, but something like that. Got it towards the front. Start at the same starting spot. I like mine around my jaw. And then just go down slower. And do that. more like what I wanted at first see where it's not as like straight like this one it's a little too straight at first I wanted it more like this so that's what happens when you get like when you push in and go down you don't want to do that you want to kind of angle it down kind of like that and with your razor and just kind of glide it down instead of what I did at first and went and then down but it still look right. Now I'm going to put some more layers throughout like the back of my hair. So what I do then is kind of like almost like act like you're putting it in a ponytail and then I'll come back. After putting it up kind of like this I know it looks crazy but this is how I do it so it kind of looks like that <laughs> okay so you want to find out where your short layer is hold on I gotta fix y'all okay you're kind of trying to find your short layer in the front which is kind of like right here and then you want to go and get your razor again kind of do what you want to do in the with the bangs and you're going to kind of glide it from here to there very very subtle so there's my starting point and i'm going to angle it slightly pull down I heard it stopped cutting because it kind of got to a thick point. So I'm just going to go where it stopped cutting and go down with that angle again. Very slightly. And kind of got it down to the end. And that's all the layers I want to put in there. Alright, and that's pretty much it. I just flipped my hair over and now I'm going to brush it. And we'll look what it looks like.
or see what it looks like. All right, when you're done cutting and after you brush it out and you're looking at your finished product, you might see some hairs that didn't get cut, like you see here. Well, not not can see here, but I got a few little stragglers, so I'll just go and cut those free-handedly, kind of. Like so. But that's the finished haircut. Um, that's what it looks like in the front. This is what it looks like in the back. And I'm happy with it. I'll be right back after I blow dry and show you the real finished look. And I'll put the picture from before cutting my hair with my finished look. And that way you can see the before and after really good. Here's all my hair that I chopped off just then. Not too much, but pretty good bit. Look at this long one. All right, the reason why my face is so red, I just got done blow dry my hair and that's just how my face gets. <laughs> so, okay, this is the after the blow drying, and the cut and the blow drying. Um, so it's here now. Here is the before, and now you can see it after. So it's just a little bit shorter, but I'm happy with that. And here is the bangs. Um, the little set of layers. And now I'll show you the back. So this is what the back looks like. Here is the before and here is the after. I'm really happy with the haircut. So that is how I cut my hair. And like I said before, Sylvia Deegan gave me this inspiration for this video. Um, yeah, I've always cut my hair, but I didn't think about filming it, so now I am. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and please, if you don't feel comfortable doing your hair, you can go to a salon. It was just that I personally never like my haircuts when I go to a salon, so I pretty much have to do it myself. Um, or I can pay someone to do it and then not be happy with it, and then I go and cut it myself anyways. That's how it was. So, um, I just personally like my haircuts to my hair myself. So, and I just do subtle layers and, um, frame it around my face a little bit after I pretty much cut it the length I want. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my haircut. Um, if any of y'all do your own haircuts, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any videos out there that um, of you doing your own haircut, I'm definitely interested. Um, I love watching the haircut videos. Um, I just recently got into them um, since I saw Sylvia's. But yeah, please don't forget to check out her channel. She has some very good content on her channel. Um, she always switches it up, all kinds of beauty in hair care videos. But yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all buddies next time.